Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. My name is Travis Kaler and this is a quick tip in Maya. Today we'll be setting up the grid. Maya's grid settings are located in two places. So we're going to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, and from here we'll go down to Settings. Now under Working Units, you'll see Linear. Click this drop down. These are the working units that are available to you. Click Meter and we'll hit Save. Now next, in the upper left hand corner of the viewport, you'll see this grid icon. Right click and click Grid Options. Under Size, you'll see Length and Width, Grid Lines Every, and Subdivisions. Length and Width, this is how far you want the grid to extend. So we'll change this to 15 and we'll hit Apply. And you'll see it extends out. Now next, we have Grid Lines Every. Now this is how big you want the cells within the grid to be. So we'll change this to two units or two meters and we'll hit apply and you'll see that they get bigger. Now likewise we can change this to 0 0.5 hit apply and you'll see that we get half units now. Let's change this back to one. Now the subdivisions they're kind of like grid lines every but they're just another useful way of breaking up the grid. So we can hit two and we'll click apply and you'll see that it's subdivided the grid up. So from here, let's look at color. This is just a useful way of visualizing your grid. So axes, these are your axes, and we'll change this to light blue. We'll hit apply, and you'll see it stands out. We'll leave grid lines and numbers alone, and we'll look at subdivision lines. Let's make this a little darker. And now you can see how the grid can stand out a lot more. So for now we'll close this and how do we work with the grid now? So let's go to create polygon primitives and come all the way down and you'll see interactive creation. Make sure that's turned on. Next we'll go back to polygon primitives and we'll click on plane. If you hold down the X hotkey if you haven't changed this and you drag out you'll see that this plane is adhering to the grid. So drag it out and release it. Now likewise, if you go into another mode, like vertex mode, and you hold that X, these all work the same, and they'll adhere to the grid. Now the last thing to note is if you look at the upper part of the screen in the middle, below the menus, you'll see these magnet icons. These are your snap keys. So when you hold down X, you'll see that this left one lights up. This is your grid snaps. So you can do the X key or you can just turn it on here and it'll work just as intended. All right guys, if this quick tip was useful and you wanna see more, comment down below, like, and subscribe. All right guys, later.